your guide to constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the March sky. Venus and Mars hang over the western horizon after sunset. Aim a telescope at the planets to get a closer look. After dark, Jupiter shines high in the southeastern sky. A telescope will reveal the gas planet's dark colored bands. As the brilliant stars of winter progress toward the west, the constellations of spring make their appearance. Two March constellations derived from Greek mythology, Gemini and Cancer, lie in the zodiac. The zodiac is the name for the band of sky through which the sun, moon, and planets appear to travel. The Gemini twins lie high overhead. They were among Jason's Argonauts, who sailed the seas searching for the Golden Fleece. The two bright stars are the heads of the brothers, Castor and Pollux. A fuzzy patch lies near the feet of the Gemini twins. Called M35, it is a pretty cluster of several hundred stars. Cancer is often identified as a crab, but has also been seen as a lobster or crayfish. In Greek mythology, Cancer was placed in the heavens by Hera, wife of Zeus, to immortalize its tenacious but futile battle with Hercules. It is a much dimmer constellation than Gemini and hard to see in light polluted skies. Within Cancer lies the lovely beehive cluster. Ancient stargazers called it the cloudy star. This large cluster contains hundreds of stars and lies about 577 light years away from us. Watch for Saturn rising in the southeast after midnight. The ringed planet will climb high into the southern sky by dawn. A total solar eclipse will take place on March 20th, but it will only be visible from the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Sky watchers in Europe, Northern Africa, and Northwestern Asia will be treated to a partial solar eclipse.
The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard.